I was watching Bruno Simon's slides made in 3JS from his award conference. It was very motivating and made me want to spend hours working on my project. Then in the credits, I saw this, a marketplace from the team who built React Refiber. It contains free and high quality models, texture and environment files. It gave me hundreds of ideas per second. But I saw this warning sign and it's something I never covered in my videos yet. It's a warning that the file is big and it can ruin the first impression of your experience if you don't handle it and don't show a loader. So I decided to make a React Refiber loading screen tutorial, but things did not happen as expected. Hello, my name is Tonky Donkey. I love dancing in underpants. You stupid! I will cut you and I will kill you. Please help me. So yes, we will see how to make a 3JS loader, but not only. Let's build our story scene. Once you clone the repository, run yarn and yarn dev. You get this scene with the Anku, Corrigan, Tree, Rock and Lem Post. To get models from Poiman Dress Marketplace, just find one you want to use, hit download and copy JSX and graph. Then paste it in your project. By default, it comes with the CDN version URL, but you can make it local to your project. Lucky you, I did it for all the models for this project. Let's start by animating our characters. Go to Corrigan and we will log the actions to get their names. Then in a use effect, we can play it. Our Corrigan is now running. Let's make him run faster. We can get the mixer from use animations and increase the time scale for his animations only. Now it runs very fast. Let's set it to 1.8. Repeat the process for the Anku. We now have the impression our Corrigan is chased by the Anku. To have a better immersion, let's add shadow with the contact shadow component. It works as if we have a floor. We have a semi-transparent opacity to make it not too harsh. Nice. Now let's animate our background items. To do so, we create a moving item component that will wrap our 3D model and increase its exposition at each frame. Our tree is moving. What we want to do is when it's out of the screen on the right, it go back on screen on the opposite left to make it an infinite animation. We declare an offset x variable to 20, and when it reaches offset x, we put the exposition back to minus offset x. Perfect! If we wrap all our items, it's animating all of them. One item per kind of model isn't enough. Let's declare a number of lamps, trees and rocks. We use leva to be able to update in real time those values to find the best one. Don't forget to remove hidden on leva in main.jsx. Now let's loop through the number of items by destructuring an array and mapping a moving item for each. But we don't see any difference yet because all our exposition are the same. So let me explain how we will spread them. We have a range from minus offset x to offset x in which we want to position six trees, for example. So we will start at minus offset x and based on our current index, we will find its position. We divide our index item by the number of items to get the percentage. And we multiply this percentage by our range. And our range size is offset x two times, from minus offset x to zero, and from zero to offset x. Let's apply it on our lump posts. They are now spaced evenly. Replicate it for all our objects. Excellent, we can also adjust it to find the best values. Now to add realism, we need items on the back to be slower than the closer ones. So let's add speed for our different items. Let's make them customizable on Leva, add it into moving item props and use it inside our use frame responsible of the movement. Excellent, let's adjust the values. Now to make it less flat, let's randomize a bit our item's position and scale. When our item is instantiated, if the randomized position props is set to true, we will slightly move our x and z position in a random value between minus randomizer strength to randomizer strength. We do exactly the same for the scale. 
We apply the scale and position on trees and only the scale on the rocks. We keep the lamps untouched because we expect them to be all the same and well aligned. Now if we look we can see trees with different sizes and alignments. Of course you can use different models for better results. Let's add some fog to add some more depth. It's starting to look very good. Let's add React 3 post-processing library and add the effect composer plus the bloom effect. Yet it does nothing, we need to have a material color to be brighter than 1 on its RGB value, so let's do it in our lamp post. Now our lamp posts are glowing and add some ambience to the scene. As we are cheating a lot on how we build this infinite animation, let's limit how far our camera can go and ensure wherever it is, it's good looking. Now you always have a decent experience when you move and rotate the camera. It's time to deal with the loader. You need to wrap your items that require loading within suspense component from React. You can even have a fallback component like loading a low poly version of a heavier model, but we won't cover it today. Dry library has a component named loader that you can drop next to your canvas and have a ready to use fading loader with a progression and props to customize the style. It covers most of the cases, but if you want to play audio, you need the user to click on the page before being able to autoplay it. So for this kind of experience, it's best to build a custom one with a start button and that's what we will do. Let's replace the loader with loading screen component included in the starter project. With use progress, we can get the current loading percentage of our models. So let's build a UI to display a progress bar with the current progression and an overlay on top of the screen with a button to start the experience. You can see on the bottom the green progress bar. I found this font named Almendra to make it look more medieval. We import it and it's looking better. Now let's create a state to hide our loader and display our experience if it started. When we press start, we will add a started class to fade out our loading screen, so the experience will smoothly appear on our screen. You can also do crazy reveal effects using shader instead, but we will keep it for another video. Let's add a music. When start value changes, we play our sound. By the way, in real projects, give the option to your user not to play the audio. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, don't forget that hitting the like button really helps this channel grow. And the more it grows, the more I'm motivated to build tutorials, and the more you grow because of these tutorials. So when you hit like, you're doing it for your own good. If you want to become better by learning and practicing at React 3 Fiber, I highly recommend you to watch this video here.